वेलकम फ्रेंड्स लेट अस सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन नंबर 8 ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 3.7 ऑफ चैप्टर 3 एंड द क्वेश्चन सेज ए बी सी डी इज अ साइक्लिक क्वाड्रिलेटरल दिस इज द फिगर ऑफ द साइक्लिक क्वाड्रिलेटरल एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द एंगल्स ऑफ द साइक्लिक क्वाड्रिलेटरल सो लेट अस सी हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन and here we shall apply a result that if we find the sum of angle a and angle c it would be equals to 180 degree and the reason is the sum of opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral is equals to 180 degree so this is the reason and we are given the value of angle a that is 4 by Plus 20 and the angle of C is minus 4x and this is equals to 180. So if we write it like this, minus 4x, it would be equals to plus 4y equals to 160 because minus 20 will be sub deducted from 180. And now we can divide both the sides by minus 4. Then we have x minus y equals to minus 40. So this is our equation number one. And here we shall apply the same result. That is the sum of angle B and D is equals to sum of angle B and angle D is equals to 180 degree. And uh, the angle B is given 3 by minus 5, and angle D is given minus 7x plus 5. And here we have 180. So if we write it as minus 7x plus 3y and 5 with 5 will be cancelled. This is equals to 180 degree. And now we shall apply the elimination method to solve this pair of linear equation. And for that, we shall multiply the equation number one by three, multiplying equation number one by three. We have we shall multiply equation number one by three. Then it becomes three x minus three y equals to minus one hundred and twenty. This is our equation number three. And now we shall add equation number two and equation number three. Adding equation number Two and equation number three, we have minus seven x plus three y plus three x minus three y equals to one hundred and eighty minus one hundred and twenty. So we can cancel out minus three y with plus three y. Here we remains with minus four x. Equals to sixty. This means x is equals to minus fifteen. And now we shall substitute this value in equation number. Putting in equation number two to get the value of y. And equation number two is minus seven x. X is minus fifteen plus three y is equals to one hundred and eighty. This means three y is equals to one hundred and eighty minus one hundred and five. This is equals to seventy five. So y is equals to 25, and now we can easily find out the angles of the cyclic quadrilateral. So we are given the angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D. We are given angle A is equals to 4y plus 20, and we have calculated y is 25. So it is equals to 120 degree here we have 3 times y this means 3 times 25 minus 5 this means 75 minus 5 equals to 70 degree here we have minus 4x x is minus 15 so this is 60 degree here we have minus 7 times minus 15 plus 5 This means hundred and ten degree. So this is the solution of the question. Thank you.